Hello and welcome back to part 4 of the ultimate sorter and item storage system. Today we are going to be working on our item input area. So we need to put a place where we can just drop off all of our goodies, all of our bad stuff, everything into one chest and then it can be distributed out and sorted within the rest of the system. So behind me we have a lover designed by Metamedio and what it does is it basically takes any items and sorts it out into stackable and unstackable that includes shulker boxes so if we have a look in this top chest up here we have a selection of different shulker boxes with different uh, amounts in each one as well as items that can be fully stacked and others that are unstackable so what we'll do is we'll grab one of those and then we'll put it on the top there and then we'll start seeing this in action as it empties out that chest so we will see all of these items running through the system as well as the shulker boxes getting sorted as they come in so they are being checked to see if they have anything in and then emptied out into the chest. And then down here, we'll see all of our unstackables appearing here. And then all of our stackables will come over this side. So it's a really good system that will sort of take anything that you put in it into the system and then distribute it to our unstackable sorter chain and to our stackable sorter chain, which is mainly these two large uh, designs that we've done previously. So we'll just let this finish and then uh, we'll get on with the build. Okay, so that looks like it's done. So we have a look in our dispenser it's all gone so no items backed up there none there and none in these two chests so if we look in this one this is all of our unstackable items so this all well in this case it's it's backed up a bit but obviously we would have uh, sorters sorting out these items uh, rather than backing up there and then over this side, we will just have the stackable items. So anything that can be stacked, we will find along this line. And then that can just go off into a uh, uh, hybrid mass storage. And then that can be pushed on to uh, multi item storage. So that's, that's sort of the simple plan. Now we need to get this part of the build into that one over there. So let's have a have a good look at it and then we'll go and build it so to build the tiny item unloader you will need that will give you the main body of the unloader so what we're going to do as our plan over there if you haven't seen it check part one uh, but this chest here is going to be the chest that we choose to use so we need at least 10 blocks gap or space below it um, and then we're just going to build actually from there so that's going to be our input chest so we can come in and drop off everything that we may need so let's get straight to the building so from this chest we're just going to drop down below it so point a hopper coming straight down and then that's going to go into our dropper which will be facing far to the right uh, from the chest and then we're going to place a shulker box in front of that and then going to come down again below and we're going to place two more hoppers and then a barrel on the end of that another hopper coming down into a double chest like so so from the back it'll look like so so this line here will or all the items will come in here 
If it's a regular item, it will get pushed into the shulk box and then down through the rest of these into uh, 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 stackable items or into our item column. Then if it's a shulker, it won't be able to go into here and will be pushed down here. So what we need to do is place a double chest like so, come around to this side and grab our dispenser, place that underneath there so it's facing in that direction. And then we need to place a hopper coming from that double chest into that dispenser. So we're going to need to now place a hopper into that double chest as the shulkers will be dispensed here and then they'll be emptied out. And then what you want to do is place a temporary block here, put one on top and then place a weighted pressure plate on top of that. Come up once more and this will be a temporary block. We'll put a rail on it and then a minecart, break the rail break the block and then the minecart will fall down onto the pressure plate. So from here we're going to come down and we're going to place a temporary block there and then a block there and then we're going to place a comparator which will read uh, if there is a shulker box and then coming up from that we're going to place a observer with a sticky piston on top. So from here you're going to come round and place a temporary block with a observer like so and then you're going to then place a permanent block there and then we're going to need to place a repeater on two ticks just like so and then that's going to be the mechanism that helps break the shulker box when it's empty. So we're going to drop down and have a sticky piston facing down and then you need to come around here and place a observer facing that way so the face is towards us in this configuration. So that is our mechanism to break the shulker boxes. So what you'll need to do is come around up to our input hopper up here and we're going to come out two blocks and break that one so we're just leaving that one there grab your observers and place two facing that direction and then come down a bit and have one facing into that hopper and then we're going to come down here and have one facing down okay so now you're going to grab your solid block and place one right underneath this observer and then right here we're going to place a note block on the side of the comparator like so and then on top of that we will place a repeater now we're going to place a observer facing oh, down into that repeater so now we're going to place a rail on top of that and we can hear clicking and then just going to lock it by placing a redstone torch up there and then what we'll do is we'll place a comparator on top of this observer running from this hopper which will let the system know if there's items coming in and to dispense them and do everything that the contraption is designed to do so now we're going to just drop down here and we're going to have a observer coming off of the note block like so then we're going to have one facing into that one and then a solid block like so and that will just activate the dispenser um, when it first receives an item then just grab a comparator and then on top of that observer going to have it facing into the note block so for the unstackable filter, what we can do is come down here and this is sort of the, the front as we would call it. Uh, we're going to get a block, place one on that stone block, come out again and then we're going to just do a 2x3 um, shelf like so. So then from here we're going to take a comparator 
and place it coming off of this solid block and two redstone dust, a repeater, one more redstone dust into a torch like so. So we're gonna place a temporary block underneath the chest like so, and then we're going to have a double chest going to the left, and then a double chest going to the right. One will be for the unstackables, and one will be for the stackables. And then we're gonna place two hoppers like so. So if it's a unstackable, it will set off this uh, redstone mechanism, which will unlock this hopper and allow them in if it's just a regular item it will go into this one because it hasn't got the power to unlock it and that is our main uh, shulker box unloader and item uh, unloader now we can send our stackables off to the multi or, or sorry the hybrid mass storage and we can send our um, unstackables to our other uh, sorters coming up in the next parts so we're just running a test on our system and everything is working perfectly so that's fantastic so now we've got to work on connecting our stackables and our unstackables up to the rest of the system so we're going to be putting in some other sorters over the next episodes or next parts uh, which will then be deposited in each one of these and then we're going to have a armor sorter at the back there as well uh, also the world download will be in uh, the description down below and there's a lot more contraptions here than just the ones we're using so we've got a item buffer and indicator for uh, you know if you've got your big farms and it's producing a lot you can see how much is getting backed up uh, we've got a, a four-way item splitter a two-way a number of different elevators from water to different types of uh, dropper elevators this is the multi item sorter and the mass hybrid and then we've got all of our other uh, sort of unstackable sorters over here on this side so check out the world download below and hopefully you will be able to join me next time for the next part in our ultimate sorter and item storage system and look forward to hearing from you soon bye